Hey guys, I'm gonna do a quick guide for the Raid Rift, the Darkest Magic. So first off, this is a Nightmare Rift. So if you want to summon your group, you will need to buy a summon for 50k Planarite. You can find it in the store, under the Rift Nightmare section. This Raid Rift has 5 stages. You will need 1 tank for the first 4 stages and an off tank for the 5th. You will need a Defiler for the 4th and 5th stage. You will need 4 healers for stage 1 to 4, 3 AoE and 1 tank healer. And in the 5th stage you will need 2 tank healers and 1 or 2 AoE healers. Having 2 Chloros with Synth on the tanks and 2 6 to 1 Physician in the last stage will really help you a lot. Stage 1. In this stage you will have to kill this rabbit. Here he is. Where? There. What, behind the rabbit? It is the rabbit. He will cast Chasing Cottontail. This will spawn a green AoE around the rabbit. You will need to follow him while staying inside the green AoE for protection. He will cast Rabbit's Wrath. This is a yellow bubble around the rabbit. You will need to get out of that. This is a one shot. He will apply a dot on the tank called Open Wound. And he will be immune to taunts at random moments, so make sure your tank keeps aggro. So once you pull it, have everyone stack up near the tank. This is the green AoE, you need to follow him and stay inside the green. Yellow bubble, go out and avoid it. That's all there is to this phase, speeding up to the next one. Now that the rabbit is dead, you will see 10 new rabbits spawning. You can just go around and one-shot them, they will die and trigger phase 2. In stage 2, you will have to kill the Nightmare Delusion. All you have to do in this stage is match the AoEs you are standing in with the boss's colored buff. The AoEs on the ground have orbs around the sides. Once the orbs make a full circle, there will be a fire AoE spawning. You will have to move to the other AoE quickly. Also, when he has the blue buff, he will be spawning ads. Make sure your tank picks them up quickly. So check what debuff the boss has and rush in the right AoE when you pull. As you can see, the orbs are filling the circle in the AoE we are standing in. You will have about 2 seconds to switch before the fire spawns on this one. Now keep an eye out for when his debuff changes. You will always stay in two same colored AoEs before he changes his color buff. That's all there is to this phase, speeding up to the next one. Stage 3. In this stage you will fight a fat spider with four heads on her legs. You can start using a defiler on this stage. The spider has an aura called Poisonous Presence. This will debuff the raid with a dot. To cleanse it, you will need to run to one of the white AoEs and click on the statue. She will cast a frontal cone called Acid Splash. The heads have a buff called Symbiosis. When you kill one of the heads, it will remove 10% of the boss's total HP, but it will also buff the boss with a damage boost called Angry. So what you need to do is DPS the spider while cleaving the heads down. This is Acid Splash, the frontal cone. Once the boss is about 50% HP, kill all the heads. You can see one of the heads dying now, the boss loses 10% HP. And he is also gaining one of the angry stacks, he will now hit harder. If you do this properly, the boss should die at the same time as the last head. If the boss gains stacks of angry, use unstable transformation on the tank. Stage 4. In this stage you will need to be a racist. The boss has two casts that can be interrupted, but you only want to interrupt one of the casts called Phantom Pain. If you fail to interrupt this one, your rate will be one-shotted. The other cast is called Lesser Evil, do not interrupt that. If you interrupt it, he will gain a stack of Greater Evil, increasing his damage done. When you start, the boss will have a buff called Well Lit, and he will be white. At some point he will cast Lights Out, and he will turn black. As we all know, being black is bad, so when he is black, he will gain a buff called In Shadow. This will reduce his damage taken. Pull him close to one of the unlit braziers and DPS it down. Once it dies, it will buff the boss with well lit, turning him white again. 
There is also an AOE you need to avoid. If you step in it, you will get a nasty dot called Draining Terror, and the boss will gain a stacking buff, increasing his damage done for 5 seconds. So pull the boss and tank him close to an unlit brazier. Phantom Pain, this is the one you need to interrupt. He is now casting lights out, he will turn black. Once he is black, DPS the unlit brazier next to him to turn him white again. Lesser Evil, this one you don't interrupt. Here you can see the AOE you need to avoid. That's all there is to this phase, speeding up to the next one. And the last stage, stage 5. You can see those elementals moving around. Stay away from them as they do about 20k damage per tick if you get close. The damage is called Deadly Torrent. The boss will cast Isolation. Your raid will need to be spread out to avoid killing each other. He will cast Trauma. This is a big cone AoE that you need to avoid. Here's a little note on that. He will sometimes do a blink before casting it. So even if the boss is facing away from the raid, the cone can be casted towards the raid. So be ready to move out. He will cast Kawa together on a player. This is a Meteor mechanic. The player will be rooted and you will need at least 5 players to go stack on him to share the damage. If you have 261 physicians in your raid, you can use life's insurance on that player and ignore the mechanic altogether. He will summon 4 adds. This phase will last 40 seconds. They all respawn in the same place and need to be tanked and interrupted. These adds and the boss have a buff called Gathering Darkness. This will make them do more damage if they are stacked together. Have the tanks get 2 adds each and tank them away from the boss. They will do a cast called Weakness. This needs to be interrupted on all 4 adds. If you fail, the whole ray will get a stacking debuff called Weakness, reducing damage and healing done. If you tank the adds inside the elemental's AoE, they will take damage from it, so keep them inside of it. So when you pull, make sure your whole raid is spread out. He's now casting Isolation. If you get hit by another player's bubble, you will die. He just blinked away, he will now cast Trauma. This is the Kone Yui that you need to avoid. Kawa together, this is the Meteor mechanic. So have at least 5 people stay in the green bubble to survive it. Or if you have 261 position, ignore the stacking and use life's insurance on the boss's target. He's now summoning the 4 adds. Again, have the tanks take 2 adds each and tank them inside the elemental Zayui. Make sure all 4 adds are interrupted at all times. Weakness, this is a cast that you need to interrupt. This phase will end after 40 seconds, so be ready to spread out even if the adds are not dead. Finish off the adds before going back on DPSing the boss. And that's it, repeat this until the main boss is dead.
Please smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe for future uploads. And as always guys, thanks for watching.